The harsh Texas sun beats down on convicted burglars, auto thieves, forgers, and drug dealers. They serve 90 punishing days at a prison work camp outside Palestine. Deep in the East Texas wilderness, inmates work harder than prisoners have had to work in a decade. They're imprisoned by suffocating heat, knee-deep mud, poison ivy, snakes, spiders, and what inmates jokingly call hunchback saber-toothed chiggers. 30-year-old Izubi Fontenot of Baytown is a three-time loser doing life for drug dealing. Fontenot's never worked this hard in all his life. It is my last time coming down, though. Yeah. I can't handle this here too much. I'm, I grow old in the prison detention. From dawn to dusk, 400 inmates pay for their crimes in free labor that saves taxpayers $1 million. They clear land and repair fences at two 25,000 acre state wildlife management areas. This is one of the few surviving peat bogs in Texas. And until inmates arrived here, wildlife biologists had just about given up on saving the unique plant life, including a species that eats insects. Inmates hand cut trees and brush that choke the bog's underground stream. They discovered wild orchids, never seen on the Gus Engling area since the Parks and Wildlife Department bought the land 35 years ago. We were kind of nervous at the beginning, as you probably understand, uh, but uh, it's turned out real well, and now uh, uh, we're hoping to expand this type of program to other management areas across the state. In the old days of the Texas prison system, hard labor made criminals afraid of returning to prison. Aubrey Lawler of Mesquite is back for his third time, serving 25 years as a habitual offender. It's, uh, it's no good. It's not working. Half of the guys here will be back. Why? Because this ain't nothing. Man, y'all need to spend money on cleaning up the city instead of these woods. 24 tent walk it off. Eight times. 25, come on. Governor Ann Richards' administration pitched a tent village for the three-month-long summer work camp. It helped relieve overcrowding in county jails and responded to public criticism that life's too easy behind bars. If we can make this a humane place, yet an undesirable place to be, then uh, and that will help keep someone coming back to this penitentiary, then we've accomplished one goal. The prison system carefully picked nonviolent offenders who already worked outside secure walls. 41-year-old Evans James of San Antonio nurses aching muscles. The convicted drug dealer complains that rapists and killers don't have to break their backs. We're the cream of the crop of the system. We can be trusted and have already proven it. That's why we're here. But it's almost like you get punished for being good. A mile down from the camp, inmates saved the Cayuga schools $43,000. They repainted two gyms, refinished the floors, poured new sidewalks for 600 students. In addition, more than 50 inmates volunteered on a weekend to help get classrooms ready for the first day of school. We never had any problems here. They were always very respectful to us, and little kids would walk amongst them it just like they were just like one of us. Inmates live in conditions similar to troops in the field. Evening TV is one of the few comforts. On weeknights, it's lights out at 1030. A revival draws a small crowd of worshipers. Inmates dream of going home, and some pray with blistered hands they'll never come back. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News, outside Palestine.